I started my master in January, Marcelo started his PhD in January. Then a lot of things happened, like I really don't know what what was going on in that year. You know, 2016 was such such a hard year. So when you start a graduate school, like a graduate program, it's uh, it's hard because you need to get used to your supervisor and your supervisor needs to get used to you. So that's like a downhill usually, it's really hard, especially if you're international, you come from a different culture. And for us it was way easier because we had been here before, right? So we knew the Canadian culture, we knew like the attachments, we knew the kisses, the, the hugs, all of that doesn't exist here. So we were prepared in that sense, but in the same time we were like, oh, suck, right? Suck so much. So by half of the year, we were like, okay, I think, you know, I understand my supervisor now. I think my supervisor understands me. And then things start to go bad in parts of my family back home. So my grandfather from my mom's side got really, really sick. He went through two surgeries. I, we all thought we would lose to him, you know, like he thought he would not go through like the recovering process of the second surgery. In the meanwhile that he was recovering, my uncle from my dad's side got really sick with hepatitis and in like two weeks he, he needed a transplant. So he got a transplant, like a liver transplant, and then he died. And Annette was like, what? He was like way younger than my dad, I think like 10 years or maybe more. Like he was way younger. He was like just 20 years older than me. So he was very young. And then... um and then that was like, that was something for me because in my family, before he died, nobody had died. Nobody. Like, I had all my grandparents, all my aunts, all my uncles, all my cousins, everybody. Like, everybody that I, I knew. And then Marcel's family is the same. Since I am in his family, nobody ever died. So Marcel doesn't have one grandfather from his dad's side, but he died when Marcel was really young. So really, like, I, I didn't meet anybody that died, you know, like, nobody. So I, oh, it was, was a hard thing to process, you know, like, what? How, how can we speak one day, like, we speak a Saturday or a Sunday, and then the next Sunday he was, like, gone, you know, he was, like, in the hospital, nobody could talk to him, he didn't fully understand. It was, like, it was such a hard and sudden thing, I think, that was harder, you know. So, that happened, and I was, like, I was here, I had no choice. And then my grandfather started to get in better. So I was like, okay, okay, so I think I should go home. So that happened in April. I went back home in the end of May. So I stayed three weeks, like against all my supervisor's wishes. She was like, no, you should not go home. But I was like, well, I'm going home. I had the ticket that I bought when I came. I bought like two ways. So I was like, no, I'm going. And then I went there, like I gave support to my family, you know, my aunt, my cousin, they were like devastated. My parents, they were devastated. And then I also spent time with my grandfather because he just went through a process that, you know, was like way more than he could handle it. So I also went to my grandparents' side from my dad's side. So they were devastated too, like, you, you know, it was a young child. They have um, eight children, you know, but he was one of the youngest, so it was it was something not expected at all. He was funny, he was oh he was such a nice person. And I lived with him for three years during my high school. So then for me it was even worse because I experienced living with him and Oh my goodness, like for me, I don't want to take the pain from any of my cousins, right? Like everybody feels the pain in a different way. But for me, it was like I couldn't be in the funeral. I couldn't be with him. I couldn't see him my life for the last time. I couldn't. Like I remember the goodbye he gave to me when I came to Canada was not something that he fully agreed, but he was like, okay, you know, like if you think you should go, go. 
and that was it you know like that was the goodbye so like i had no closure at all so it's a pain that stills with me forever and i feel like it's never going to go away for the two years after that i was like oh he's going to call me like he's going to text me he's, oh, but no like, no he's gone from this world so then that happened and then i came back and my grandfather from my dad's side died in september so that was like a extra heavy stuff that happened and i couldn't go home like me and marcel we we were like in this craziness about the graduate studies and we couldn't go home so my parents came in the following in the following summer for us which is around me of 2017 and that was like Oh, that was really helpful, you know, like, oh my goodness, that was extremely helpful. Marcel went back home. It was not actually me, it was like August, they spent my birthday here. So, Marcel went back home, stayed home for, I think, three weeks because he had that ticket too. And then he came with them. So, they came, like, because they don't speak English, so they came with Marcel. And, um, and that was like... A little bit of strength they gave to me I feel because then I could like write my thesis and be okay I'm finishing this like it's gone and blah blah, blah. so I finished in December of 2017 so like it was exactly two full years but I work as that was crazy like nobody should finish a master in two years it's too quick you need to give up of your whole life to do that and it's not worth it because if you graduate in three years or like two years and a half it's not going to change your life at all like nobody's going to see that nobody's going to judge oh you you actually needed one extra year like no nobody ever is going to give you any opinion about how long you finish your master and I think, okay, maybe if you finish in seven years, then yes, right, like seven years is kind of too much, but nobody's going to judge you for one extra year. And I didn't fully understand that in the time, you know, I didn't. So I finished that and then uh, I told Marcel, okay, like I finished and I will get a job. So. I couldn't find a job, like I applied for some jobs, nobody answered me. Marcel told me, okay, rest, like take the time for yourself, go home, spend time with your parents, with your grandparents. So I did it, did, I did it last year, did, and then I went back home in March, I came back just in end of July, I think, and I got my work permit and all of that, and then one company in Windsor, in Annapolis Valley, opened like a bunch of opportunities so I was like I'm applying like you know it's a hundred kilometers from here but it's my first Canadian job I need to get some experience and Marcel told me yes you should do it and if you really get the job we move to the valley and there is no problem I drive back you know like he's a such nice guy in that sense like he's he's a nice guy in a lot of different sense but in the sense that he would say like he he didn't even he didn't even put in the table for discussions like oh who is going to drive no he was like no 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 i drive that's fine like it's all good if you get the job all good let's focus on that so then we i actually like got the job and we moved to the valley we spent half a year there and then another job here in the city opened up and i was like oh i'm applying for this job because it's basically everything that i have done you know, doing my internship, doing my master, doing my work back home, like, it's 100% connected. So I have background to do this job. I will apply. So I apply, but they didn't answer me anything. And me and Marcel had this plan that if I got the job, we would have more money. So then we would have a celebration for our marriage. Because when he asked me back there in 2015, we didn't uh, had any celebration, you know, like, we have a common agreement and then that was it. So like we celebrate ourselves, we like went to a nice restaurant, like we rent a hotel room, like it was a nice thing that we did for us, but it was no, there is no, there was no family involved. So then we decided, okay, let's do the marriage celebration now, that when you get the job and blah blah. So we did in the end of last year, so we are officially married since December of last year, but we didn't actually marry it in the paper. We still have the common agreement because. For us, that's all that's needed, right? It's a paper that say, okay, yes, we are together, and that's enough. So, 
uh, we did that and we went back home. I went for five days, no, yeah, five five days. So like I went, arrived there, I married, and then I came back. That was, it. Marcel spent a month there because he, he couldn't spend any time with his family a lot. They never came here. They would come just like this summer, they arrived in two weeks. But yeah, so then uh, that was it. So when I got the job here, um, in like back in the city, we decided that we had just two options are we renew the contract of our apartment back in, in Annapolis Valley and both of us would drive to the city, which is a lot of money in gas and a lot of time spending the road. And it's kind of dangerous because it's like a lot of time in the road. And um, or then we would move here. But Marcel didn't want to rent a place, he wanted to buy a house. So 